How to stop and disable services on boot on Linux remote host with Ansible? I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible modules, service underscore facts and service. First, you need to acquire the information of a service on the target machine. This task is performed by the Ansible module service underscore facts. You can't disable a service that doesn't exist, can you? The effective action are performed by Ansible module service. The full name is ansible.builtin.service which means that it's part of a collection or module built in with Ansible and shipped with it. Actually, both of these modules are part of this. This module is pretty stable out for years and its purpose is to manage service on remote host. For Windows targets, use the ansible.windows.win underscore service module instead. Parameters. The parameter list is pretty wide, but I will summarize only the most useful. The only required parameter is name that specify the name of a service. At least one between state and enable parameter are mandatory. The state parameter defines the action that we are going to take it has four alternative options. Started and stopped option allow you to stop or run, no, actually run or stop the service. Restarted is a combination of stop and start. You could also customize the amount of seconds between using the sleep parameter. Reloaded option is useful if the service need to reload the configuration file. The enable parameter allow you to decide if the service should start on boot or not. In this case we don't want, so we need to switch to the negative no or false. The argument or argas parameter allow you to specify some uh, optional argument provided on the command line, but it's not very common. Demo. Let's jump in a real life playbook how to disable service on boot and also stop it with Ansible playbook. Are you ready? Welcome to my editor. I will show you one playbook to disable the crony D service. First of all, let's start our play name service module demo that is going to be execute again hosts all of my inventory. Then I need root privilege so become true which means that we are going to log in with a standard user and then switch to privilege escalation to root. Then let me define one variable, in my case one list named disable underscore service with a list of service that we would like to disable, in my case only cronyd.service. And that's it, we can customize as much as we want this list with all the service we need. On the task list only two tasks, the first will be populate service facts that is going to execute ansible.builtin.service service underscore facts and the beauty of this module 
is that he has no parameter and he create the service variable now let's take some action on the task name disable service let's execute ansible.builtin.service some parameter in my case the name will be the item on the list so the value of item and let's disable on boot so enabled false and also we would like to change the state to stopped of the service we are going to execute one item in services here we go and uh, let's loop with with items in the value of disabled service so here we have one simple playbook that is going to disable all the service that we listed under the disable service variable the first step is to list the service available on the machine and then take some action to disable the on boot uh, start and switch them to stop it is a simple code as you can see but has a powerful execution power now i will show you in my console welcome to my console let me connect to my demo machine via ssh devops as user and this machine is available as demo.example.com let me switch to root user with sudo su and uh, let me show you what distribution is so let me cut slash etc slash red hat dash release we have a red hat enterprise linux release 8.4 let me list the installed packages with rpm dash qa grep crony to verify that the package crony for ntp is installed on the system and let's see the status of the server with system control status here we have the service is called crony d dot service actually is running the process as you can see and is enabled which means that uh, is uh, going to be started on boot we are going to change both these two status so we are going to make not active and disable the boot uh, the start on boot with so let me execute my playbook with ansible dash playbook dash she is my inventory file and then my playbook that is listed under service and is service stop and disable this execution will be very fast because I need only to change some parameter on the machine first uh, is going to populate the service facts and then one changes status which means some operation have executed on the target machine now let me execute again this time i would like to verify the hidden potency of this script and we have only ok status which means no further action are performed on the target machine let me verify if everything went well with ssh devops demo example.com let me switch to root again and verify with system control status the service was crony d dot service and this time is not running 
anymore as you can see the status is inactive and is switched to disable which means that uh, the service is not going to start on boot now we need to perform uh, another test to verify if we reboot the system if the service is going to start or not oh damn it I, I was uh, too fast to exit to the machine let me reboot and here we go now the remote host is going to be rebooted and in a blink of an eye I will be able to connect again here we go SSH let me execute uptime so you can see that uh, is gone is just rebooted zero minutes so just start up and let me verify system control status of crownyd.service as expected the service is not active and is in disabled status which means that Ansible was successful so great job Ansible now you know how to stop and disable service on boot on Linux remote host with Ansible. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give me a positive feedback and see us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.